Hey everyone, it's John and today I'm going to do another video in my BGP video series. In the previous videos we had discussed weight and local preference and the last one we had discussed on AS path. This time, however, we're going to go through origin. Now what actually is origin? Origin is effectively how the prefix or the network was learned by BGP. So we've got these codes down here and you can see we've got an I, an E and a question mark. Now, sometimes people make the mistake of thinking that I is maybe IBGP and E is EBGP. It's not. I is effectively the origin code which will be denoted to any prefix if it's learned via, if it's been injected into BGP using the network statement or a summarization, i.e. through the aggregate command. So when you type in your, in the case of, say, this network here, if you were in a router BGP 55 and typed in network 55555050 mask 255255255252, that would be denoted by BGP as an I for IGP. Now you're thinking, why would that be IGP? Effectively because you are taking it directly from the routing table. You're taking it directly from that as a connected route and iOS interprets that connected route as an IGP. So some people make the mistake thinking, okay, so I've learned it from another router in here and that's an IG, IBGP neighbor, it's going to have an I. But if I learned it from this router here, it's going to be an E for EBGP. No. E is effectively deprecated now. You're rarely, rarely going to see that because it's actually meaning it was learned from the predecessor of BGP, which is Exterior Gateway Protocol, and that just isn't found anywhere, to be honest, anymore. And in fact, the iOS images, which I'm using in this, Viral, Viral doesn't even support um, setting the origin code to E. So effectively, you can forget this one. The only two we really need to know, again, for theory purposes, you should know what the E is. But realistically, all you're going to see is the origin codes I and the question mark. And like I say, I is going to be when the network, when it's injected into BGP via the network command or the aggregate command. If you see the question mark, it's pretty much, that means it's been learned via redistribution. So you can either do it two ways. You can learn it. Uh, you can redistribute it from, say, your static routes for connected routes or from a different protocol like OSPF or something. The next thing I'll say is I've written this in the order of preference. So I was preferred over E, which was preferred over the question mark, the unknown. Effectively, that's because I is interpreted as being more specific because to actually get this to go into BGP, you need to specify the correct network address with the correct mask and that is deemed more reliable. That's why the origin of I is preferred. So with that little introduction, I will just kind of explain the topology. So the left hand side, we've got an AS, AS55, and that is connected with two, well rather it's three IBGP peers. I've made this one a root reflector. You don't need to worry about that. I'll discuss that later. So we'll not actually mesh these one. We're just reflecting through here. And we've got an EBGP peering to AS77 and an EBGP peering to AS33 here. And across here, we have AS77 peering with AS33. And you see this network here, the 99.99.99.0 slash 30. This is the network between these two. And we're going to actually advertise this network into BGP using the network statement on one router and via redistribution on the other and we're going to actually see how the network codes or rather the BGP origin codes appear and what route BGP prefers. Probably you can tell already it's going to prefer the one which is injected via the network command because that's going to have the I code and the question mark will be distribution which will be less preferred but we're going to go and do that first. So. I'll just show you from the start here, we don't have that into the BGP domain quite yet. So if we do a enable show IP route, you can see it's not actually appearing. So the first one which I'm going to do is I'm going to put the redistributed one in because once I put in the network, that will be overruled effectively and the redistributed one will disappear. If I did it the reverse way and just put the network in, 
it would just continually show the network. You wouldn't even see the, the redistribution one. So it's better to do the weaker one first and then show it being superseded by the preferred version. So the first one we'll go, we'll go into this one here. And what we're going to do is we will just move this over here. Let's have a real look, see. Okay, so it's this one here connected on. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to do it via a root map. So we'll do root map and just call this one map permit 10. And we're just going to do a match interface gigabit 02. So that's all we're doing. And we're not doing a root map permit 20 this time because we're just really, we're actually wanting to exclude anything else. We just want to just put that one connected route in. So we're going to go into our BGP and effectively redistribute this. So we'll do router BGP 33. That's this one down here. And let me just move this over and make it a little bit easier to see. And do redistribute connected. That would redistribute all the connected ones, but we just want to do it for the identified one on gigabit 02. Connected root map, and the root map is called map. And that's that now. So that should hopefully be redistributed into a BGP. So we'll try and do a little bit of clearing. Show IP BGP soft. show clear and let's have a look and see if we've got the route in yet so show IP BGP okay now have a look at this so we see that the 99.99.99.0 slash 30 prefix is now available we can also see that on the very far right hand side see this this is denoting that it is being redistributed because it's got the origin code. You see the three of them here? The origin code incomplete. Incomplete is just, that's just, it sounds a lot more vague, like you're missing some vital information. You're actually not. It just means, think of it as just being redistributed. That is it. And again, if we do show IP BGP 9999990, we're going to see that the origin is incomplete. Okay, so that's the, the route to that, and if we trace to that, obviously we're going to go No, wait there now, can we actually reach that? Let me just double check that. And Mm -hmm. Just double check that's working right. Yeah, that's fine. So, you can see the path we're taking here. We are going down here across 33.55. Now, we're going to effectively advertise the same network. This is the network here. It's a common network between AS33 and AS77. This time, however, we're going to do it by typing in the network statement. And because that is going to inject it as a connected route, which is going to be interpreted as an IGP, and therefore have preferential treatment, and this route will suddenly be preferred because we're advertising it here with a better origin code. So let's go in here and do the same thing. We'll do router. Conft router. BGP 77 and we're going to advertise it with the actual network statement this time and the mask and like I say BGP prefers this because it's deemed as more accurate more specific should I say and clear this oh, enable
Okay, now. Now we've learned the prefix. We've still got it. But the next hop now is this one here, the 55, rather than the, all the 55s. It's just 55002, which is this way, rather than the 55, 55, 55, 2. And more importantly, we can see that here it has been learned via IGP because it is more specific, but effectively. So let's just go and just check that. Oh, not 99 when we're doing that, that should be zero. And we can see here now that the origin is IGP. And again, if we trace to it, we're now going over the top link. You see that? We're going to cross 77, 55. We're going this way now. So beforehand, where both of these routers are advertised in the same network, we're both saying, We've got a path to 99.99.99.0 slash 30. This one, however, was redistributed using the redistribute command. And this one was introduced to BGP using the network command. This one's been deemed with the code I for IGP. This one's been deemed the code question mark for redistribution. This one is theref therefore preferred. Therefore, this route is now preferred. However, just like in the last video, Origin can be superseded by AS path. It can be superseded by local preference and the weight. So, like I say, local preference is effective only within the AS, but from this point of view, if we want to affect other ASs, we can still use AS path, which will still supersede the origin. So effectively, the route we are preferring now, because we are redistributing here, and we are connecting just directly via the network command up here, we are preferring this path. Let's go and discourage this path by prepending to this. So what we'll do is, we'll do an IP prefix list, and we shall do, just call it what, list, and we're going to permit 999999 slash 30, and we'll do a root map called John permit 10 and we'll match the IP address in the prefix list called list and what we'll do is we'll set the AS path and we're going to prepend it and like we say the initial it will be sent out with the 77 path we'll prepend that with 77 a few more times just to make it less favorable to eff effectively artificially extend the AS path and we'll do root map John permit 20 so we'll not just filter in that and we'll do router BGP 77 and we'll send it outbound to the neighbor here which is going to be neighbor 77 55 01 route map is John and it's outbound because we're affecting routes which we are sending out to here so we'll do it out okay and we'll do a clear IP BGP soft so now we're making this, like I say, let's just review this. This has been, and this network has been advertised via redistribution here. However, when it was advertised, the same network was advertised via IGP, i.e. with the network statement, the path was now preferred here. We are now going to artificially extend the AS path by prepending and adding additional stamps. 77, 77, 77, which is going to discourage routing across this site. Therefore, the path should now retake that, showing the AS path does in fact effectively outweigh, to use a certain phrase, outweigh origin, it supersedes origin. So let's go here, and hopefully we will have our show IP BGP. And now we can see that the preferred path is actually the one with the question mark, the origin code of redistribution or incomplete. Show IP BGP. Origin incomplete. And if we trace to 99, 99.99.99.1, we can see we're now going down the path here, even though it's been advertised via redistribution, which is actually less desirable than the network command so both these are still advertised in the same network 
This is advertised in a less desirable way because this is redistribute, uh, redistributed. However, because we've done AS path prepending here, which outweighs it, this is even less desirable, so we're still going this route. So that is effectively how Origin works in BGP in a kind of nutshell. There's a couple more things to work to it, but that's really the main bulk of it. It's not a very complex attribute. And yep, so I think that's the end of the video. I'll come back with the next one. The next one's going to be on the multi-exit discriminator. And that's it. So thanks very much, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.